Hey everyone, this is Steven with Scruffy Studios, and I want to show off something that has been many months in the making, my new Pip-Boy 3000. This isn't the first of these that I've built, but it is the first to use a Raspberry Pi and touchscreen to create a very feature-rich and functional prop. The Pi was programmed by a friend of mine, and you can find his Facebook page if you search for Pi Boy, and I'll also put a link in the description. As you can see, as you turn the knob, the screen switches, as does the LED under the screen. I added another white LED behind the rad meter to illuminate that, and that LED is also powered by one of the optional active pins on the Pi. There's an option in the configuration menu where you can turn that pin on or off. I added a very small sound amp, let me show you that. All you need to know. I've been getting more and that sound amp is also powered by the optional pins on the Pi. You can change songs. You can change radio stations. And you can even change the volume. All from the touchscreen interface. The audio quality is incredibly low fidelity due to the cruddy amp and speakers that I used. But if you want to run a wire down the sleeve of your jumpsuit, then you can play the music from a higher quality sound amp and have much better sound. I wanted everything to be on board, so that was a sacrifice I was willing to make. The power supply is also on board and is running from a pair of lithium ion rechargeable batteries. In my early testing, it gives me about three hours of runtime before I have to swap out the batteries or plug it in to recharge. You can configure everything that you want to about your character. Special, skill, special stats, skills, and all of that information is persistent between reboots, which is really neat. Best of all, all of this is in a package small enough to fit inside one of my kits and still leave room for my arm. I'll have a full build write-up on my Facebook page, Scruffy Studios, as soon as I can.